Good afternoon. <laughs> I'd like to give a lecture about true mother's birth and the life course. I'm sorry about screens, kind of blurry. <laughs> As you all studied last week, uh, last Sunday, um, God's chosen people and the center figure is clearly chosen by God based on the foundation of indemnity and uh, lineage. And um, so ma through mother's course also, clearly guided by God and clearly uh, protected by God. And then um, I hope I can convey to you all. And um, many things might be missing and lacking, and please forgive me. <laughs> Okay, prophecies about True Mother. And True Mother's family lineage, there were seven generations that performed meritorious deeds. And this is one of the story, the Dali River story. Johan Jun, uh, True Mother's grandmother's father, and sold everything he had to build a bridge in a dream an uh, old man wearing a white attire appeared in, in front of him and said, Hanjun, your meritorious service are great. I was going to send the son of heaven to your family, but those three coins you spend on yourself have hindered it, and therefore I shall send the princess instead. After this dream, he went out and saw a stone Buddha erected on the hill. So those times, um, Korea was very, very poor, poor country and, um, and many times they received Chinese envoys and then when they receive envoys they have to cross the Dali River and then they had stepping stones but during the monsoon, se monsoon season the stone will disappear so government asked anyone who can build a bridge and then grandma through mother's grandma's father he sold everything he had and uh, built a bridge. And then after, after finish, there's uh, three coins left, like uh, three dollars or something one. And then, so he has to attend the next day the bridge opening ceremony. So he bought uh, straw shoes in place of his worn out shoes. Then he put the shoes on next to him and he slept and he had a dream of this. And an ancestor scolded him, why you spend three coins for yourself if you could spend three coins, including and everything for God, for this nation. And uh, the ancestor wanted to send him king, but instead they sent prince, princess. That was the story. And those time, um, many spiritual groups in Korea, and uh, they received many liberations. And, and one of the group was called the New Jesus Church, uh, guided by Reverend Yondori. And then he said to Demonim, uh, True Mother's father had been a disciple of Reverend Yondori when he received the revelation, which said, Marry a daughter of a man named Yon Irhon. Her baby, if it is, a ba it is a boy, will be the king of the universe. If it is a girl, she will be the queen of the universe. And I met him at the end of the February and became pregnant at the end of March. And so True Mother's family believed the second advent would come in a physical body, and there needed to be a three generation of only daughters who would prepare the foundation for his arrival. And Grandma Jo was only daughter, and Demonim was also only daughter, and True Mother was an only daughter as well. And uh, on these three generations of daughters, uh, Tumara is born, Hak Jahan is born, 
and then she was born on January 6, 1943, when Demonim was 30 years old. And then Demonim's husband, uh, true mother's father, was not around. They couldn't stay together, uh, so physical father was not around. But Grandma Jo always told this uh, true mother, the little true mother, it says, um, your father is heavenly father. Your heavenly, heavenly father is your father. So uh, this is a, tr I'm sorry, the kind of blurry, but true mothers uh, speak about the background of her birth. There were many special dispensational events that took place secretly, internally, in order to welcome true parents here on earth. In Korea, there were many special spiritual groups that were completely different from the conventional Christian ones, which just implicitly believe in the Bible and Jesus Christ, hoping to go to heaven. The spiritual groups existed solely to receive reversion from God to prepare the way for the coming of the second advent here on earth and to search for and find the heavenly bride. And this is uh, one of the groups, Sonju Church, Holy Lord Church, guided by uh, Kim Sondo. Basic teaching for this group is education for the bride of the Messiah and the purity and the devotion. And then she's already received um, reversion from God about part of the divine principle, such as illicit love caused the fall. Jesus died a miserable death. Two of God's great sorrows are the sorrow of seeing the fall and not being able to intervene, and the sorrow of Jesus, sorrow of seeing Jesus bear the cross. And Jesus will return in flesh. And she was arrested and died in the prison by torture. And before she died, she left the last words to descendants and followers, go find go and find a group, rumor to be promiscuous. And then she claimed the Lord will return in the East because of her, and that Japan would soon be defeated. Was in, she was in prison for three months, died on 1944, April 1st, at the age of 61. The next group is Bukchon Church, Inside the Womb Church, guided by Ho Ho Bin. Actually, Ho Ho Bin was the uh, disciple of the Sondori, the Holy Lord Church. After she passed away, the Ho Ho Bin inherited, and she was in charge in the Pyongyang. And after Kim Sondo's death, Mrs. Ho and her husband prayed every day in front of her picture. And they offered anywhere 700 to 300 bows before each meal. And prepared blankets and clothes and Jesus needed for all four seasons from his birth to the age of 33. And they prepared everything for uh, Messiahs. And actually, Ho Ho Bin was incarcerated in Daedon prison for believing the second advent of the Lord would take place through the womb. Um, when she was arrested, with, along with the 40 other leaders in her church, and including her brother, um, all the clothes they made from uh, a lot of dedication. How they made the clothes is, I, um, they even fast seven days and make sure nothing in your body and cleanse everything and they, you start making clothes. And during 
making clothes, you cannot go to bathroom. And they, they sell their assets and they bought the material, they make everything that Jesus needs. But when they're arrested, everything was taken away. So they got a revelation and again, and to make again. And during the prison, they don't prison, True Father was in the prison as well, same time. And um, True Father, he knows uh, about this lady, Ho Ho Bin, but she didn't notice him. Father sent the messenger and tell, tell her, pray, and then who, who I am. Or, you know, tell her to pray for who the true father is. But true, um, Reverend Ho Ho Bin didn't recognize. True father sent twice message to her, but she didn't accept. So ended up, she had to die. If she accepted in the prison, she could have be so much joy that she invested so much Johnson in order to meet her father, but it didn't happen. Uh, foundation to receive the Messiah and the preparation for bride. So in order to receive Messiah and and for the to become bride, father mentioned why should a man of his 40s marry a young girl like a mother who is just 16 or 17, if it fell before she turned 17 at the age of 16? Since the returning Lord was predestined to come to Korea, according to God's providence, the mission of three great women was transmitted for 40 years in order to meet the returning the Lord. They are Kim Son Do and then Ho Ho Bin's group. Next, their mission were all passed on to the era of the returning Lord, the era of a mother. So Father clearly explained, based on these spiritual groups, uh, sincerity and devotion, they make a foundation to welcome Messiah and to prepare for the bride. So those groups are uh, prepared by God. And then, so this is a uh, chart to explain everything. Um, so from that corner, Kim Son Do's group, Holy Road Church, the revelation about four and teaching preparation for pure and conscientious bride. And after she passed away, inherited by Ho Ho Bin and their believe in conception in a womb and they teach and uh, practice foundation to attend the Messiah. And last stages uh, form the foundation of a heart for eight types of bride, eight types of Eve's heart. When Eve failed, he didn't just fail by physically and sexually, and Eve lost the pure heart and uh, um, pure heart of eight types of Eve. So the Eve need to restore the eight uh, type of pure heart. So during the time, this spiritual group of Jesus, uh, True Mother's grandma was attending uh, with the Christian faith, New Jesus Church and the Holy Road Church. Then, uh, true mother's mother, demonim, inherited from grandmother and attended New Jesus Church three years and after the Holy Lord Church eight years and inside the womb church six years. And during that time, in the dream, demonim met true father twice. Then the final stages, the person who inherited all the eight types of Eve's pure heart is true mother. 
she attended the Holy Lord Church from age of three years old with grandmother and mother. And now I'm going to uh, grand, uh, to mother's when she was a little. <coughs> uh, Demonim speaks. When mother was six years old, she and I were arrested by communist regime in North Korea. We were kept in prison for 11 days. In those days, I knew through revelation the Lord of the Second Advent was in the South. I keenly felt that I would have to go to find this person. My physical father told his wife and me to escape to the South. Mother was a very pretty girl with a fine physique. Her, uh, her manner of speaking was also very good. She spoke very carefully. The communist government officials were kind to her and sold her apples and other goods, although they were not kind enough to sell anything to us grown-ups. My physical mother, my six-year-old daughter, and I escaped from the residential area at midnight and walked to the border between North and South Korea. When we were crossing the border, my little girl asked me, do we still have to sing those songs praising Kim Il-sung? Can I sing the song of South Korea? When I said to her, yes, you can, she started singing. While she was walking in the, in the border area, the soldier of the South started shooting. But when they heard the mother singing, they stopped. We told them that we had come from the North they welcomed us warmly, saying, you must have had many difficulties in the coming of such a small child. They gave us the money necessary for us to travel to Seoul, the capital of the Seoul, South Korea. During this uh, crossing from north to south, and actually Demonim has a younger brother who was in the military and they are looking for him, and it's very, very um, miraculously, they met um, Demonim's brother's friend on the street. And that's how they could able to meet Demonim's brother, and he's the one who helped them to relocate the place, to give them place to live, and then when they have to cross the bridge, uh, he put them in a military vehicle, which never happened, <laughs> but they, he put them in a military vehicle and crossed the bridge, and right after they crossed and the bridge was destroyed. And so many things like God is protecting this family and guided them. By meeting the person is really a miracle. And through him, they were able to find a place to live uh, easily during those many refugees on the street everywhere. And then, actually they moved to many places. They went to, uh, first they saw, and they moved to Jola, uh, Providence, and they come back to Seoul, and then moved to Daegu, and Jeju Island, and at the end was Chuncheon. So, and when life on Jeju Island, uh, Demonim spoke. I took her to Jeju Island when we lived a very simple life, a life of prayer. The older she grew, the more beautiful she became. So, so did this. she did so well at school and was so popular that she was the target of a lot of attention. I knew the boy would try to tempt her by writing letters and other things. So I let her quit school when she was a sixth grader. I took her to Jeju Island, where we lived a very simple life, a life of prayer. As I had received the revelation that the heavenly kingdom on earth would be realized in Korea and that the Messiah would come to Korea, I raised the mother in such a way that she could not be attracted to anybody else until she could meet the Messiah. In other words, I took a child to an isolated island 
and they gave her spiritual training. I trained her severely, even when she cried. And during those time, um, they were uh, still uh, practicing the inside the very church uh, life of faith style, and uh, demonym was liber she got revelation that they should eat only raw food and then just vegetable and fruits and and they ate pine needles raw pine needles and she explained that it was so painful to eat but they didn't eat anything cooked food or meat so this is how sincerely and it gave their dedication and they live in the Jeju Island with the, such a devotion and faith. And then this was, uh, they moved to Chuncheon because um, the uh, demonim's brother called them to live together with them in Chuncheon. So attending nursing school, uh, Father spoke. When Mrs. Hon first began attending a church, she lived a very faithful life in Chuncheon, uh, raised her daughter strictly. My wife attended a nursing school that was operated by Catholic Church. I am told that rule of the school was so strict that it was as if she were living in a convent. She had a gentle character, and during the time she was raised by her mother, she never went anywhere except to school and to a church. Through, um, as we mentioned, this son, Reverend Son Dori from Holy, uh, Holy Road Church, uh, she had a son. Her, his, her son was also escaped the south and uh, meeting with the and uh, together and uh, practicing the inside the Um Church faith. And he first discovered and met our church. And he invited Demonim to come with him to meet the Lord of Second Advent, the True Father. And the meeting in Reverend Moon. True Mother is speaking. The first time I met Father, he looked at me and asked, what is your name? I said, my name is Haksha Han. Then Father closed his eyes and meditated for a moment and said almost to himself, but I could still hear, Oh God, you have given such a woman, Hak Jahan, to me and to this country of Korea. At that time, I couldn't understand how this religious leader should have such a special feeling and the revelation concerning my future. And as you know, after this, she was to become the uh, bride of the Lord. And 1960, April 11, the holy wedding was held. Uh, Mrs. Wonpok Cho says, the heavenly blessing took place on April 11, the solar calendar at the Chonpadon Church. The Chonpadon Church, which used to be a Japanese temple, became the greatest historical place because of True Pian's blessing. The building will be kept as a museum for eternity. The paper screens between the rooms are removed giving more space, father and mother marched toward the decorated stage with all the members in white robes standing on either side. Father walked as though his path was strewn with the flowers, bowing with his bride every seven steps. We were all very awestruck. We were very happy, but at the same time sad because the place was so small for such a great event. After making the last bow, they exchanged the bow and the rings, and the father and mother went up to the stage, facing an audience. 
Father announced his blessing and offered a tearful, deeply touching prayer. Since this uh, holy wedding, True Mother's uh, course is start in order to restore eight stage, stages of uh, Eve's pure heart. She had to restore daughter's heart, younger sister's heart, wife's heart, mother's heart, and grandmother's heart, and queen's heart, and God's heart, and true parents of heaven and earth humankind. The first is uh, from daughter to younger sister. First three years stayed at the house of a member after holy wedding and didn't live together. And following this, she stayed in the same house with the true father but used a different room for the next four years. And the authority over the household in terms of economic freedom and the housekeeping was not guaranteed. She had to receive True Father's direct approval for anything that was more than $10. Father had a uh, demonym and True Mother, True Mother's demonym and True Mother stand in a sacrificial position in order to generate compassion for them. Those days, all the women of the church received that they will become the bride, and many jealousy and many uh, spiritual battle was going on. So father put uh, mother and demonim in a sacrificial position. And after this seven year course, she obtained economic freedom. And three years, a period for mother to become a victorious woman on the individual level by bringing Satan to submission before heaven. And the next four years is a period to form a family foundation. And this is uh, um, at the Chompadon Church. During the time, birth of two children, Yejinim, Hyojinim, Injinim, Hunjinim, Unjinim was born. She was uh, um, serving like a servant, uh, cooking in the kitchen. And two fathers. Uh, True father and told true father told the mother Honsune, the demonym, remain hidden at the home and do not even come at the front entrance of the church. If you must come, then come through the back door unnoticed. By setting mother in a position where she was miserably abandoned, no one envied true mother's mother. Mother began her course from the position of the servant. The women who were not chosen began to think they were fortunate not to have been chosen. That was also father's tragedy. The first three years were a period of struggle to become a victorious in order to bring Satan to submission before God. The next four years were a period of struggle in a family level. In this way, true father's entire family passed through an Im unimaginable time of trial. The first public testimony by uh, True Mother when she shared her story. Members think that I had 13 children, but I actually gave birth to 14 children. There is a five year gap between Kuchin and Konjin. That was between 1971 and 1975, which was also the most difficult period of father after he came to the United States. And because I was attending father, I myself became very tense and ended up having a miscarriage. In this picture, she was very, very pregnant. Still, she had to attend the father and everything he does, she has to do together without any rest or any compassion from anyone. <coughs> After 1976, 
mother achieved a standard of victory and her life became whole. However, mother and I both had to fight Satan until we reached complete resurrection together. Finally, in a holy wedding anniversary this year, 1977, on February 23rd, all indemnity ended and the true pants reached the completion level, starting a new era of resurrection. True mother and grandmother home were both victorious. After this cosmic victory, I, in the position of a father, bestowed on them the glory they deserve. From the viewpoint of principle, I treated mother differently from before. This is how difficult and intense this task, task has been. True father mentioned. And then next stage was from younger sister to wife, from 1977 to 1991. Um, absolute faith, absolute love, and absolute obedience from a position standing behind true father. And true mother did speaking to her for 10 years and as the mother of the world. To parents welcoming Larry and the proclamation of the parents of heaven and earth in 1990, February 27, and through Father declared to Mother as a second in command. And through the proclamation of God's eternal blessing, age of providence of restoration of the eldest son's right to the age of providence of restoration of the parents' right. And through Mother moved from her position behind True Father to buy his side. And true parents transcend the standard of one nation. And during these 10 years speaking tours, true mother spoke more than 600 times. And uh, many times she had to speak in English in, uh, in America and uh, European country. And she had to speak in Japanese in Japan. Uh, you, you can imagine how hard it must be to speak in a different language you don't know. And, but that was a condition to accomplish in order to testify to Father as a Messiah and the second coming to entire world. And the next, and True Father said, I proclaim the liberation of women when True Mother turned 30. Through this proclamation, father can now present the true parents even if he's alone. And the mother can represent the true parents even if she's alone. Therefore, father is a number one leader and the mother follows next as number one, a uh, number two leader. Women followed men until now, didn't, didn't they? Now they are on the same level. Then after this, as the next stages from wife to mother, 1991 to 1999. And um, the proclamation of true parents and the inauguration as the president of the Women's Federation for the Peace, 1992, April 10. And proclamation of age of settlement of true parents. And true parents and proclamation of the complete testament age. And during the 360 million cup of blessing and Lucifer surrender, um, the Lucifer couldn't multiply on this earth. Multiplication never happened in the spiritual world. And he can only multiply on this earth. But since True Mother became uh, and proclaimed the Women's Federation for World Peace, and symbolically all women, came to under True Mother's dominion. So Lucifer has to surrender. Then it was 1999, March 21st. And True Father present True Mother with a plaque of a completed mission of daughter, wife, and mother. And True Mother rises to an equal position to True Father. And next stage is Mother to Grandmother, 1999 to 2000. Uh, victory celebration True Mother's 40-day speaking tour and the last 12 cities in Europe 
Father O Father Johnson from 4 in the morning to 10 p.m. on the sea for 12 days straight. And then suddenly, um, to Father claimed the new day of settlement after the Noah's Day flood judgment, which was occasion of grandson Shinmanim, 100 day celebration. On the day, true father claimed as a 103-day uh, celebration. The second was 40-day flood judgment. Three days before the flood and 40-day flood and until settled on the dry land, 60 days, total 103 days. And to start a new era. And transition of the three ages, four position foundation, registration, unification, blessing ceremony. And this was all the blessed women half to attend 21 day workshop in Champion. And the uh, true parents again forgive our sinfulness and engrafted us, all the blessed family into uh, true parents' lineage. Next is grandmother to queen, 2000 to 2003. And this is uh, 2001, January 13, coronation ceremony for God's kingships was held. And the holy marriage blessing of the true parents of heaven and earth and coronation of the king of the blessed family of the peace and unity of the cousin parents and parents of heaven and earth. And through this, true father and true mother became one. And since then, true mother does not need to bow to true father and God appeared in the image of true parents. And next stage is from queen to women in unity with God, 2003 to 2006. Proclamation of the end of the era of indemnity and start of the era of God's idea of creation. And proclamation of establishment of Chong Yo Kuk. And inauguration of UPF and the world speaking tour and entrance to Chonjongun and coronation ceremony. Then the last stage was from uh, unity with God to the true, unity with God to the true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. After the coronation ceremony of the King of Peace, they held three more times coronation ceremony. And the father said, victorious true mother stand in the position of perfection. And, and uh, as you know, true father passed away after this, and true mother proclaimed the Chong Yu Guk Foundation Day, 2013, January 13, uh, attending true father in heaven and true mother on earth. And since then, True Mother working very, very hard in order to uh, create Chong Yu Guk in reality. And she um, invested so many different detail area in order to uh, accomplish and create a blueprint for Vision 2020 in order to restore seven uh, nations by 2020. Constitution, Chong Yu Guk scripture, and then heavenly tribal messiahship, and education and raising uh, readers around the world, and and in order to testify to Father's life, as she created Son Hak Peace Prize, and I can't see. She created the Chonji Song Hak Wand and Global Mission Innovations. And so many more, much more that I cannot explain. And then many things are lacking, but I hope you can catch some of the True Mother's life course, how hard it must be in order to restore uh, pure heart of Eve's from from bottom to unite with the God and to unite with the God and become parents of heaven and earth humankind. So 
and you can uh, see more by uh, watching and these resources I use and uh, please go over again and understand more clearly about True Mother's Cause and then uh, let us become true sons and daughters of true parents. Thank you very much.